Hey, Erica. What's up, Alex? Have you ever noticed that when you pour shampoo onto a flat surface, it starts to coil like honey, but then a little jet will offshoot from the side? Oh, yeah, that's called the K effect. The Kanye effect? I'll let you finish. No, the K effect. Let's, Let's check, check it out. out. So I wonder what causes the coiling you saw. It's not interesting, and the K effect is way cooler. The K effect has to do with shear thinning, which is a property of some non-Newtonian fluids in which viscosity decreases with increases in shear stress and shear rate. The K effect occurs because of shear effects at the interface between the incoming stream and the coil beneath. Initially, the incoming stream of viscous shampoo will begin to coil just like honey, and for the same reasons. But at some point, the stream will slip away from the heat forming below. Because the shampoo is shear thinning, the high shear rate between the incoming stream and the coil beneath causes a formation of a low viscosity layer of the shampoo at the interface, allowing the stream to glide off to the side and form an offshoot. We came up with the hypothesis that there's some minimum viscosity at the interface corresponding to velocity of the incoming stream necessary to generate the K effect, and did some experiments to test this out. We used a syringe pump to control the flow rate of shampoo out of a syringe, through tubing, and onto a glass plate. We varied the flow rate and filmed with a high-speed camera, determining at each flow rate whether or not the K effect could be induced. Eventually, we did find a threshold velocity corresponding to a flow rate out of the syringe of about 67 milliliters per minute. The goal of our second experiment was to determine the viscosity that corresponded to our threshold velocity. First, we determined the velocity of the incoming stream immediately before hitting the mound by tracking bubbles in the stream in our high-speed camera videos. Then we used a rheometer to empirically determine the relationship between shear rate, which is directly proportional to velocity, and the viscosity of our shampoo. We found that the threshold velocity corresponded to a viscosity of about 0.2 pascal seconds. We also observed that for very high incoming stream velocities, we stopped being able to induce the K effect. We didn't explore this maximum threshold further in our experiments, but we think the existence of a max threshold can also be attributed to shear thinning. It's possible that higher velocities create so much shear thinning that the viscosity of the entire system significantly decreases, and the shampoo ends up behaving much like a Newtonian fluid, preventing the slipping that's necessary to produce an offshoot. Now I ain't saying she a gold digger.